Hi guys, welcome to my channel and in today's video I got some amazing fall decorations for you. So let's just start with it. All right, for this project we'll need uh, like a half uh, circle styrofoam piece. They actually sell them just like that or if you can't find it you just take a styrofoam bowl and cut it in half and there you go. A piece of burlap and if I have a lot it's like a whole burlap roll that I got a while ago and I'm still trying to use it up so if you don't have it I will list something on the budget friendly for you in the description below so you can check it out so what we did we wrapped that styrofoam piece in the burlap and I got some little flower plant that came in the sets of two from the Dollar Tree and what I did I glued the piece of burlap at the bottom got my jute and wrapped the whole little this green area in this fat jute rope from Dollar Tree again so again if you don't like Dollar Tree or can't find it it's not a big deal I will list Lee I will leave you <laughs> I will leave you a link in the description box for the most affordable um, that I can find for you something kind of substitute so I did not use all like uh, hot glue I just wrapped it and as you can tell the rope is just staying on it so not a problem and it was just perfect uh, piece that I had that covered this whole little pot so after that was done we moved on to the next portion which I got some rocks and put it in uh, my little pot not a lot just uh, a little bit like maybe I don't know the quarter of it and what I as you could tell I would have glued my piece and then realized I forgot the rocks inside so I had to rip it off real quick and boy that hot glue really <laughs> stick to it so if you do not put any some kind of rocks in it or whatever something heavy it might be a problem because when we start decorating this piece on top it will be a little heavy so your pot probably will tip over so as you can tell I got uh, some pine cones and a lot of leftovers from my all kinds of DIY projects which I save everything um, like you know sometimes they fall off the little flower arrangements that we buy and I, I just save everything because you never know when they become handy like right now so what I did here I used my hot glue and those little pine cones and I attach them all the way around this little uh, plant I guess for now <laughs> it would be a centipede could be or just a decoration so then I pulled some potpourri that I got from uh, Dollar Tree as well and what I did get there there had some kind of nuts weird nuts in there and you, you don't have to have exactly the same decorations that I apply. I was looking for walnut actually and since it's not a full season yet my store doesn't sell it so I did find some acorns that I had on hand, some old pumpkins and of course pine cones and those little like um, balls that look like I don't know the wind windmills or I don't even know what they call those white balls they are decorative little balls so what you do you just glue your big pieces first and then you will fill it up with the little pieces around it and trying to fill it up like all the way so it covers the whole top this way it will be like a full little arrangements at the top it will be a perfect gift for somebody or a perfect decoration for your home office anything it even can sit on the kitchen since it's you know it's a it's a full arrangement I just in love with the one that um, I did I actually have another idea for another one so we will see uh, what I can come up with because this first one uh, every time somebody comes to my house that it sits on my little uh, like a little stand they're like wow where'd you get that I'm like I made it oh here's the video so it's really not that expensive it's whatever you have on hand just glue it to the top fix your little stand for it which you see in me using a flower pot you can use a tin can like a from the soup it will work for it as well just to make sure your 
uh, top, like a half that star foam uh, circle is a little bit bigger than the, the round opening. So this way it will sit right on top of it. And don't forget to put something heavy inside the can or it will tip over. So now we continue decorating until it's completely done. And this is all for this project. I am just, I love it. So what you guys think? Have you done something like that? If you would have had different, if you have different suggestions, how would I made it, could have made it better? I am opening. Please leave a comment uh, below. I always love to read your comments and your suggestion, suggestions. And, and I can recreate it and give you a shout out. All right, there you go. Here's our first DIY. All right, for this project, we will be using an empty plastic container from Butter, which I, you know, I love to use my, um, it's not trash. I don't like it, call it a trash. It's uh, just uh, excess I'm um, saving. That's all I can tell you. So I cut the top that lid off because I don't really need it. You can actually leave it, but I thought, you know, I want my, um, a basket that I'm making is going to be like straight, so it will be kind of in a way. So what we did, we apply in here uh, some hot glue and we glue in the bottom to a piece of burlap. You can use the jute rope to wrap it all the bottom. You don't have to use the burlap. I Like I told you, I have a ton of it, so I'm trying to use it up. And if you know me for a while, if not, I went a little crazy during the Christmas last year and I bought this gigantic bag of cinnamon sticks on Amazon. It's like 500. And I did so many projects and it seems like I made it dent, barely a dent in it. So <laughs> I thought, you know, <clears throat> since I like the smell of cinnamon, why not make something about it? So what I did, I just grabbed a bunch of sticks out of that bag of mine and glued it all the way around this uh, plastic container. Then I pulled some styrofoam block and used a little bit of hot glue. You actually don't need it, but I did and uh, just, to want, just to make sure it stays there. And then again, I got some little rocks and applied on the sides so it will not fall you know because i have an oops here when i was kind of doing a rope around it <laughs> all my rocks fall out so i had to place them back but anyway i want the container to be a little heavy because it is a plastic um so i put some rocks on the side and what i did i got a dollar tree jute or any jute you got on hand and i wrapped it twice around it so kind of give it a you know a uh, little vintage primitive whatever you want to call it whatever style you like if you want to do a lace ribbon please do it will look gorgeous as well i am all into jute so right now what i'm showing you i'm making a uh like a shoelace bow which you wrap around your fingers um three fingers like a four or five times then you pull those two little strings and you tie it right on the middle and then when you're done i had a little trouble here obviously <laughs> because you know i have a trellis on my hands and sometimes it gives me a little lip because uh, the jute slips from my fingers. But anyway, I got it to work. See, now a little bit of uh, patience and work with it and we got ourselves a cute little bow. You attach it right to the middle of your uh, little basket and now you can arrange it the way you want it. I had ton of fall flowers. Uh, again, I went a little crazy last year <laughs> with the fall decorations. I went actually after the fall was kind of almost over because Michael's had ton on sale. Uh, Dollar Tree was like, they had this bin at my Dollar Tree and everything was 50 cents in there. So, uh, of course, there's a couple of flowers were missing. But this lady, uh, I got the whole bag and she's like, you know what? It, it, it just, just uh, a dollar for everything. And I, oh, I was, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I can take the whole basket if you, you know, uh, here's five bucks and I'll take the whole basket. 
because it was a lot of flowers in there so now i just randomly i'm not a florist so don't hold me to it i don't know how to do symmetrical i could learn but i don't want to i like it random and i like how you know sometimes you move it around because maybe you use two colors together and it don't look that good so you gotta you know look at it and it's it's your um it's your imagination i'm just giving you an idea or i'm showing you how i did it for myself and i love it so i love all the fall colors because yeah, i'm from ukraine and right now i live in texas and lord help me 100 degrees in uh in the fall it's it's a tad too hot for me so this is pretty much almost over for this project this is what a cutie we made what do you guys think don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it it will help me out a lot all right and for this project from the beginning i was gonna use some um wooden beads to like a canvases from dollar trees and a large popsicle sticks so what i did i decided not to remove those staplers because they were so hard to remove so i just ripped uh this canvas because i didn't need it from one of the frames and i left it not touched the other one just like that so this is what it is and i don't know how i measured it i swear i tried and those wooden beads were fitting on those uh you know <laughs> skewers and no matter what i did it wouldn't fit and i'm like well i guess this project's out of the window but then i thought wait a minute i don't need those wooden sticks i can just glue them directly to the to the bottom of the frame because what i originally want to do i want to put them on a stick uh kind of around you know and do like four uh areas but now it's like look it's actually even better so what i did i glued all my beads around my uh bottom uh canvas and then i went and got my large popsicle sticks i think i got them from walmart uh if you're interested or you want to know where i got them i uh, let me know or i will try not to forget i'm uh, so sorry if i'll forget i'll apologize in advance i will try and drop a link in the description below but what i did i measured it and cut the sides so they like square you don't have to do that uh, this step in particular but i wanted to reinforce my bottom because i'm planning to this tray to hold a couple of things you know it's not going to be movable tray but you know if i want to pick it up and move it from one table to another i don't want the bottom to fall off <laughs> so this is what i did i glue it to the bottom all my beads are situated and now i got my uh antique wax from beverly and i am dry brushing all over my beads and i will flip it over and dry brush the bottom and insides like the sides a little bit as well and if you know me i would have told you the story that i cannot stop myself with the dry brush and um my brother is always makes fun of me and saying you know you might as well just paint it brown or white whatever you dry brush in it because you go in a too heavy hand <laughs> and i agree but okay i like the the uh, the process is the most important to me so i just like the process so now my dry brushing is done i pulled the dollar tree jute rope or rope whatever you want to call it and i wrapped uh, i think twice or three times uh, so to cover the bottom portion then i went and picked up my top um frame that i cleaned it and dry brushed it obviously and attached uh, a couple of pieces of that uh those wooden beads to the corners and here you go you got yourself a pretty little tray and here's my uh full arrangements on it you can just leave it like that but i had you know excess of fall leaves <laughs> and i just throw them uh well not throw them i kind of place them and then i had those decorative pumpkins i still have no clue what to do with them they kind of like a glass but not really so i uh, just moving them from project to projects as a, as a decoration and here you go thank you so much guys for joining me today i'm so happy to see you all here let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and welcome to fall i love you all very much and i will see you in my next video real soon bye for now